the next step, 15, is it says if using the 60x silicon oil objective set the correction collar to 0.17 at the proper temperature which can be either room temperature or 37 degrees celsius and it has a note that it says it's easiest to see the markings on this objective with the 10x in the sample position so by default the microscope starts with the 10x in the sample position that's the the objective with the yellow ring so that's what's in position now so let's see if we can visualize 60x silicone objective. So the 60x silicone objective is this one right here and what we need to look at are the markings on the side. So I'm going to remove it from the microscope, show you how those markings look um, up close so then you know what you're looking for when you're peering uh, down the side uh, of the microscope. I've removed the 60x oil objective from the microscope just so you can see what the markings look like and what it is that you're going to be adjusting if needed. You can see that there's a grooved surface here. If you grab that, you can rotate this ring. And you'll see that the ring has two sets of numbers. One uh, set is in dark uh, yellow or orange, and the bottom set is in white. In addition, there are two lines that don't move one at the top in uh, dark or, uh, yellow or orange, one at the bottom in white. When we move this, we can align different numbers either on the yellow um, set of numbers or on the white set of numbers to those lines. So the way this works is the yellow set of numbers are for 37 degrees Celsius, as you can see there, and the white set of numbers are for 23 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature. So what we need to do is, if we're going to do an experiment uh, with temperature control at 37 degrees, we need to align the 0 0.17 uh, marking here with the yellow line on top. Why? Because 0 0.17 is the thickness in millimeters of the recommended cover glass that you should always use on this microscope, which is the number 1.5 cover glass. If instead we're using uh, a sample at room temperature, or we're working with fixed samples um, where the you know, temperature, we, don't, we wouldn't turn on the temperature controller, we want to align the bottom 0 0.17, the one that's in white for room temperature, with the white marking. Um, because I'm going to show you how to, how to do uh, live cell imaging, and because um, that is what is most typically done on this microscope, I'm going to put it back to 0 0.17 in the orange position. Now that you've seen this, I will show you again what this looks like when it's on the microscope. You are looking to see if that 0 0.17 marking in orange is aligned with that line, but you don't want to have to remove the objective to check that. So I'm going to show you how to check it, and then I'm going to show you how you would um, move this groove if you had to adjust it. So in fact, why don't I put it on the room temperature setting so then you can see what that looks like and how we would adjust it, um, assuming we're doing an experiment at 37. So I'm gonna put this back on the microscope. What you see now is a side view of the objective on the microscope uh, with the 10X objective in the uh, imaging position. And you can see, I've zoomed in a little bit, that um, it's, it's not that hard to see that the 0.17 uh, white marking, so the room temperature marking, is the one that's aligned with the white notch. So if we wanted to do live cell imaging, which takes place at 37 degrees, we would need to move this correction collar. So if, we, if we're in that circumstance, how do we do that? To do that, we switch to the 60x oil objective using this control panel here. That will move it to the imaging position. So to access the objective, we need to remove these sample holders, and I tend to place them here. That's a good spot. And now, 
we need to reach in and twist this, um, turn this uh, correction collar until uh, the setting that we want uh, is in place. And so the setting that we want is 0 0.17 uh, at the 37 degrees, which are the uh, yellow markings. I've placed the camera at an angle that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I'm going to put my fingers in here and turn that correction collar until the 0 0.17 0 .17 is aligned in the orange side, so for 37 degrees. You can see that's the case, so now um, this objective is set correctly for um, imaging at 37 degrees. I am now going to put the sample holder back into position.